Hi, this is Emerald again from EmeraldSocialClub.com and this video is about what you should bring to a sewing retreat. Uh, this video, um, I'm recording it probably a little over two weeks out from my 2017 retreat. So I just want to give you guys uh, some information on what you should bring to a sewing retreat if you've never been before or if you need a refresher and have forgotten. Um, my retreat um, is held at the Covered Bridge Inn in Weatherford. It's going to be March the 9th through 12th of the 2017 year. It always is going to fall on the second weekend of March. So just knowing for the future since it is an annual retreat. Uh, the Covered Bridge Inn is in Weatherford, Texas, which is about 45 minutes or so outside of Fort Worth. So it is in the DFW area. A very nice place. Can't wait to get out there with everyone this year. This is going to be the first um, retreat at this center. I had another place, but unfortunately, tragedy struck it. So we're trying a new place for this year. So, uh, like I said, this video is going to be about what you need to bring to a sewing retreat. And I'll kind of go over that with you. And some of these things are going to be, you know, for pr pretty much any retreat. But some are a little bit more specific to mine. So, let's go. So what do you need to bring? Well, at a minimum, of course, you're want, going to want to bring your um, sewing machine. Probably your manual. Uh, make sure that your sewing machine is in good working order. You know, you may want to take it for service beforehand just so that you're sure it's working right. And of course, bring all the accessories and things that you need, your power cord, um, foot pedal, those are often forgotten. So, you know, please, you know, make sure that you've packed that. Um, you may want to bring an extra power cord. At the retreat center that I'm at, there are power cords, uh, extra um, extension cords, so they'll be there. But it may be something that you um, want to uh, try to bring as well. Also, you would want to bring things like extra needles, um, thread, um, various types of needles, you know, for top stitching and things like that. Make sure that you have enough. Uh, bring enough bobbins just in case and possibly um, like a lint brush. You know, those kind of things are gonna be things that you definitely want to bring. Uh, you'll wanna bring your projects. Um, you'll probably wanna bring a variety of projects. You don't wanna bring a whole bunch of things that are really hard. Even though this is going to be a time that you can bring some projects and have the time to complete them, but do know that you're going to be up and talking and, you know, socializing and things with a lot of people. So you may want to bring some that are not uh, quite as difficult so that you have the option to kind of switch off and on to things that may be a little less difficult that you can just complete as you talk and not end up making mistakes. But it is a great time to bring some that are a little bit more difficult because even though my retreat is not a teaching retreat with classes and such, sometimes you can en um, enlist the help of other sewists, you know, to help you if you're stuck on an instruction or you're not sure exactly how to go about completing something. So it's a good time to um, be able to do that. Um, so it may be something that you want to bring. Um, if you... Um, one thing that I do, and I'm going to put that in here. I'm um, sorry, my dog is acting like crazy in the back. He actually wants me to pet him. He may, you may see him kind of walk around here just because he wants to be on camera, which usually he doesn't, but something about a video. Um, but like I said, one thing I'm like I'm going to put here um, is the option to possibly kind of kit up your projects. By that, I mean putting everything that you need, the pattern, the fabric, um, needles, um, thread, everything, all the notions and things in one bag so that you have that together. And I'll kind of show you uh, what that looks like. You also want to bring things like your scissors, um, any type of um, maybe like your tailor's ham and things like that. Um, some of those things people will have, but it's always good to have your own as well. At my retreat, there's no need to bring irons or ironing boards. They will be provided. Uh, but sometimes people like to have their own just so that maybe they don't have to get up from their workstation. So that's totally up to you if that's something that you want to bring. Um, 
you know, if you're going to be doing any quilting, um, there is space at the retreat center for design walls. So you can, um, and if you don't know what a design wall is, it's basically where you put your uh, quilt up on a wall so that you can kind of see exactly um, how it's going to play out. There is space for that, and they do um, have that. So you don't have to bring your whole design wall um, or anything like that. But I will be providing to you guys, and I'll link that in the show notes or the uh, video notes on um, an actual packing list. that I got uh, from a website, and I'll credit her for that. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel, um, but, you know, that way you'll have kind of a list to kind of see what you may want to bring to the retreat. Also, um, if anyone is flying, and this is not just to my retreat, but for any retreat, I'm also going to link how you can package your machine uh, safely for flying. There's a really good... Um, article from Crazy Mom Quilts on how she does that, but um, it's not really that difficult. One thing I would just say though, don't ever check your machine. That Have you ever seen people, how the baggage handlers handle your baggage? You don't want your machine about that life. So whatever you do, carry it on. If it's heavy and you can't get into the overhead bins, I know I can't, you know, it's really hard for me to push that up there because I'm not really tall enough to reach out of it, but someone will probably help you. Um, it's a lot better than checking your machine. Of course, you'll want to remove your needle and possibly place a little piece of fabric under the foot pedal because that's how your machine comes to you. And there's a lot of different ways to package it. Um, you know, you can actually put it back in its original box, but if that's too much trouble, packing it in a suitcase with a quilt or, you know, some kind of fabric around it to protect it is a great way. But like I said, I will link that uh, from Crazy Mom Quilts so that you can see exactly how um, she does that and kind of some instructions. And even in her comments, people have linked different things as far as what they used to pack their machine. Um, the time I flew with mine, when I flew to Chicago, I had zero problem with it. You know, as far as TSA or anything like that, they're not really gonna hassle you over a sewing machine. I did have a TSA agent on the way back to Dallas ask me after opening my sewing machine case, if it was a sewing machine. Not really sure why, I mean, I guess he thought it was a big stapler or something. Maybe he'd never seen a sewing machine. But he didn't give me any trouble on it. You know, I didn't have to, you know, it wasn't like a contraband item or anything like that. Definitely if you're carrying um, larger scissors and things, I would definitely check those. But your machine is not something that you have to check. And I would completely advise against checking it just because of how rough they are with checked baggage. And then, of course, there's going to be the non-sewing related items that you'll want to bring, of course. Um, at the Retreat Center, they do have towels and, um, like, bedding items. However, you know, some people like to bring their own pillow or their own quilt or blanket, so just keep that in mind. Of course, you'll want to bring your phone and the charger, of course. I mean, I think there's only really two types of chargers these days, like the iPhone one, and then there's whatever Android uses, it's always that same charger, so um, don't really think that's a problem. You know, you'd probably be able to borrow and bum one off of somebody, but you don't really want to be that person, so definitely want to bring that. Um, you want to bring comfortable clothes, because at, uh, at my sewing retreat, it's basically, you have time to just sew all day. Uh, so you can wear pajamas, you can wear your sweats, you can wear relaxed clothes, and I, just wear socks. Because, I mean, who sews in shoes anyway? So, you know, definitely maybe some slipper socks or, um, you know, slippers or something like that. Um, at my retreat, all of the meals are provided. So basically your meal from Thursday evening dinner will have a dinner type of thing. Probably be something like pizza or like sandwiches or something like that. Um, and then um, breakfast the next day um, and then lunch. So basically from the time you're there Thursday night all the way till Sunday, your meals are taken care of. And there will also be 
a lot of snacks. Um, they told me that they do a lot of snacks, but last year when we were at the our house in Milford Inn, everyone kind of brought different snacks, you know, plethoras of snacks. Everywhere. But this time we don't really have to do that, but I know people will, and that's fine because it's a time to, you know, eat and enjoy and socialize. Um, soda, water, uh, tea, and coffee are provided. However, if you like the K-Cups, uh, the Retreat Center doesn't provide the K-Cups, but they have other coffee, just regular coffee on top. So um, I'll probably bring some K-Cups in. If you're coming and you would like to as well, feel free to do that. Um, because the more the merrier and of course beer and wine um, You can bring that the only thing that the retreat center asks is because all the bedrooms are upstairs And there's like a really light white carpet up there to not bring red wine up there But anything else is fine. So wine beer I don't think you can actually and I know for a fact so I won't say I don't think but you can't bring like straight liquor so you know don't come up there with like Patron and you know shots and stuff like that you know but as far as beer and wine that's totally okay and we had a great time with that last year kind of helps people relax and enjoy and we had a really good time there's something about a sewing retreat and being able to be around those who sew just like you do and being able to talk patterns fashions uh, techniques um, if, you know, there were people who were showing, like, quilting techniques, people who were showing all types of little things that you just, they weren't actual classes, of course, but little bits of knowledge that you might not have thought of on your own. So, it's definitely something that is really great to be able to be around people like yourself. So, um, those are really the things I would say that you need to bring. Of course, in the comments, if you think of something else or if you have a question on can I bring this or would you recommend or even just a suggestion or maybe something you think I forgot, please feel free to pop it in. So for those of you who are coming to the retreat this year, I cannot wait to see you. Like I said, right now it's probably a little over two weeks away. So I'm really excited to see you guys. And for the rest of you, please keep watch over my website, emeraldsocialclub.com and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Pinterest, all at Emerald Gina. Also, I think my Snapchat's at Emerald Gina too. So all of that, it's all the same. Um, and I hope to see you guys here in the future. Like I said, it's an annual retreat. So the um, dates are always the uh, second of the second week in March. So I hope to see you guys at the next ones if you weren't able to come this year. And of course, there's going to be pictures and everything like that of all the fun we'll have. So you'll see kind of what you missed out on and hopefully be able to join us uh, here in years in the future. So I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Please subscribe if you liked what you saw or if you want to keep up with me. I definitely want to keep up with you guys and you know, answer any questions or anything that you may have and hope to see you soon. Bye.